Hey guys, I'm back with my makeup basket for the week review and this is what we're going to be talking about these things. I know all these things were not in my basket but they were things that I used throughout this week so I'm going to show them to you. Let's start with this Fenty Beauty Contour Stick. I love it. I have it in the shade Truffle. It is really, really good keeping that. Let's talk about something I'm not keeping. The Too Faced Born This Way Foundation. Um, I have it in shade Chestnut which is a great summer match but it's a good color match. I just don't love the formula and I do tend to like more dewier skin like finishes for me in the summer but this just is not the one. I look 80 years old and so she gotta go. She's gonna go in the declutter pile speaking of which. Speaking of things that made my skin look crazy this, this week, this Tarte Shape Tape. I don't know if I want to declutter and get rid of it completely. If I do, I have a best friend. She wears deep. I also don't know how much is left in here because I've had this. Actually, I haven't had this one. I finished one this year and then I opened this one. So this one is actually fairly new. So I'll probably just send it to her. Let's be real. This is my little MAC. Because that wasn't working, I pulled out this MAC little compact duo in NW40 and NC45, which I know always work. The NW40 is great for correcting my under eye circles, so I definitely pulled this out when I had a restless night. It's staying. Speaking of correcting, I had a lot of breakouts and I have a lot of dark spots kind of showing up on my face. So I pulled out the Becca Papaya and it definitely helped to cover up some of the discoloration that's going on on my skin right now. Speaking of more coverage and covering up, I am liking the Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer and I have it in the shade Mocha, which has more of a rosy, peachy undertone to it and it definitely helps correct the darkness that's underneath my eyes as well. Have been sleeping well, guys. I'm going to do better next week. I'm going to do better this week. Yeah. So, Tinta Doll Ultra Wear in 470s. <laughs> Suede C. It is a perfect summer match. And now we'll definitely be getting um, 460 or 465 this winter to have it as a winter shade. Because I love the formula and I love the coverage. Something else that snuck up on me, guys. This little bitty, tiny, tiny. Hello Happy from Benefit. This formula is actually super good. It blends into the skin super well. It's very lightweight, but it has some pretty good coverage and it just makes your skin look like skin and it's so good. I'm really loving it. I put some use into this. It's probably going to get used up by the end of the summer. Let's talk about things that may get used up by the end of the summer. This cover of Fix Blurring Primer. Like, I, I have some air in it right now, actually. But I'm, like, all the way down here in this. Like, I'm using the heck out of this. So, it may get used up by the end of the, at least in the winter for sure. I really like it. I didn't think I was going to like it that mu as much. But I am really liking this, guys. Next, I got this Tatcha Silk Canvas primer i wish i had known that sephora was gonna do a 20 percent off in the fall i would have waited on this but now i already have it and i wore it today it was okay i think the foundation i wore with it was more luminous so i may try to wear it with a matte foundation later on this week because i'm gonna pull it into my makeup basket for this coming week and see how that goes next up the hourglass veil powder i don't think this is really just great for setting under eyes like you know, not like baking, but definitely for like finishing powder wise. I felt it was really finely milled and really soft, but I liked it more as a finishing powder than an under eye setting powder. Okay, so let's go up to the top up here. Let's just pull it, pull it down. Okay, so mascaras this week. I'm using the Maybelline Lash Sensational. Still liking it. This is a waterproof version, and so I kind of use this on days I know it's going to be pretty hot outside. And then I have the benefit bad girl bang this actually didn't surprise me for my more natural days where i'm looking like i uh, just want to throw on you know quick shadow looks quick mascara this is really really good actually i would even i'm gonna say i would buy that in a full size almost i'll keep you posted next we got some liners i did use all these this week this one is the uh, it Cosmetics No Tug Liner, and it was really, really good. I like to just rub it into my lash lines, kind of tight lining things. I'll probably keep it in next week just to get some more use on it. This is the Milani Brow. Uh, what is this? Easy Brow? Yeah, Easy Brow. I have it in the color Dark Brown, and it's okay. But right now, my lashes are really full, and this is a really thick pomade type stick. So I'm going to put this back and look for something that I probably will just run a gel through it for the rest of next week. And this is the MAC in Nightcast. It's like a mauve silvery purple color. And it's really, really good. It looks really good on the waterline with a lot of purple looks that I have done in the last couple weeks. 
and then this is the love bug pencil by ColourPop. it's more of a rusty terracotta color it looks really really good this week with several lip colors that i wore and then this is the teal silk so kiss me by l'oreal ward love it great liner this is the Stila stay all day people rave about this and I, to me i just think it's okay and i love Stila, but this is just not the one for me i like the ico one much better there's also one my essence that i like much better as well so this is just okay speaking of brows let's go ahead and look at the maybelline brow drama I like this formula, hate the freaking wand, because it has like a, let's back up in this. I ignore my fingers, I need to fill in, working on it later on this week. It's like a puff ball at the end, I probably, I could just probably cut that off, because I really like the formula. But I don't like that wand. So, speaking of things that I really like, uh, the NARS eyeshadow primer, I really like it. How long is this good for? it's good for 12 months guys that's a long time which is great because this is a lot of product in it and i don't want to throw it away or put it to waste if it goes to six months so great keeping it in my basket probably for next week next up i have this nyx jumbo pencil in rust and i loved it i wore this today smudged all over my eyes with uh, one of the norvina shadows just like kind of lightly tapped on top and it looks so good and i smudged it on the bottom lash line it was a good it was a good look then I have my NYX Glitter Glue, which you gotta have when you have shadows like the like that are in the Norvina palette, which I'll talk about in a second. And you will need this glitter glue for all the shimmers, basically, in that palette. Next up is another shadow cream shadow that I'm loving from Sydney Grace in Wish. It is like a lavender purple color. It's so good. I loved it. Also smudged all the lid and kind of brought up into the crease. And just one shadow looking done. It was really, really good. ColourPop highlighter in Highly Wasted. This kind of disappointed me. It was much more glittery than I remember it being when I first ordered it before. I think just the color is kind of peachy, but a lot more glitter than base color is much more lighter, I think, than when they first put out this color. Laura Geller blush in, I want to say this is Plumberry. Yes! Hi! Baked Gelato Spivet Swirl Blush in Plumberry. So excited that I remembered the name. And it's so good. It's just like a deep mauve color. It's so good. I also wore this today with my eye look. I had a monochromatic look going. Fire Brown Gel Liner. I broke this out because the Stila just wasn't doing it for me to so just kind of give me that deep lash line color I wanted. So I broke this out. This is just always really good. I just have it in a little size right here. MAC Fix Plus staple in my collection i have backup on backup on backup on backup for real because i love it we'll never be without it it sits all my powders every single day and it's so good dose of colors times sarah e time i love sarah e this highlighter guys oh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna just show you i gotta have this when i did my highlighter collection and this is oh, <laughs> i'm so excited about that it's so good and it's so wet looking on the skin. And I have it in the color Bethe, I think it may be. Um, but I definitely might want the other one. So good. Other highlight I use for this week is Afternoon Glow by Bobbi Brown. And it's just a beautiful peach pink base um, highlighter as well. I'll show you. I think I've swatched this one up before for you guys when I did my highlighter collection. But it's just beautiful. Just look at that shade. Look, look at that shade so pretty but yes we're almost done guys we just got the palettes to go over real quick and then some lip products that i used this week and then a blush and the bronzer which is the abh bronzer and mahogany i've been singing its praises all summer so there's no need for me to talk about this for any length of time it's so good and so dirty like just so dirty i've used it to death it is so beat up i might be getting a little dip in this so Look, I think I'm getting a little dip. Let me show y'all. Look at that. Got a little dip going. It's so good. Got a little dip going. Oh, nice. But let's go with the last little cheek product while we're at it. And this is the Charlotte Tilbury uh, Chic to Chic to Chic. Chic to Chic 
swish and pop blusher in the climax it's just a great everyday color it's really easy to throw and it's very highly reflective i'm sorry if it's blinding anybody but it's really good i really like it it makes me want to try other shades but maybe not right now because i have plenty of blush and i definitely need to call back on the blush blind oh winner for the week this is a clinique strawberry super strawberry um chubby sticks moisture lip balms I really have been sleeping on these. This was so moisturizing and so good on my lips today. And I really, really, really like it. And if they put out a little mini kit this winter for holiday, I may grab it. No, I'm not. I'm, I don't need any lip products, but I definitely might grab a little mini set of these if they put them out. And this is the, this also was a silent creeper. It's been in my collection for about a month and I haven't <laughs> worn it yet. Or maybe more because I made that melt order quite a while back. But this is the Lipstick in Mom. And it went perfect with the Love Bug from ColourPop Lip Liner. And yeah, it's in Mom. So good. Such a great pumpkin-y terracotta color. The other thing that I've been wearing on my lips a whole lot, which is why a lot of those lipsticks didn't get worn was the Fresh Sugar Lip Caramel, and it's just the hydrating balm, and I've just been slapping on my lips, and that's where I go. All right. Oh, well, there's the last, there's the last stick I wore this week. Here it is. It is by, oh my goodness, I got it on my palette thing. Okay, too late now. But this is by Buxom, and it looks kind of red, but it's very kind of, um, purpley voodoo it's not that deep either but it's also not quite red it does stain a red color so it's definitely not this plummy color but it is pretty good and it's called voodoo spice i don't know what i got going on in my life guys ignore me but i'm gonna put that back together they're magnetic all right let's talk about the elephant in the room the norvino palette guys i know i didn't pull the last week but it was calling my name and as you can see i got some really good use on lots of the shimmers rose gold and dazzling to be specific I also use Wild Child in Summer, and I put Dreamer in the inner corner for one day for a look. I have used Incense and Volatile, Eccentric, and Passion today. I have not used Drama or Celestial. I think I might have wore Summer one day, because, yeah, yeah, I think I wore that. But I haven't worn Celestial or Drama or Soul or Base or Love. So, there are quite a few. There are about five or six shadows I still need to wear. But so far, so good. I will say these glitters are glittery. And some of the glitters are kind of gritty. So, you're definitely going to need a glitter glue to hold them in. Because they are glitters. And they are really not shimmers. They're glitters. Just saying. But, I I love it. I love ABA shadows, though. So, this is definitely a keeper. These two palettes, guys. Let me tell you. This looks the hair in two. Then came in, stole the show. I'm getting a dip going in this this gorgeous, what is that called? Berber. It's so good. I have a dip going. I really liked using Nomad this week, and I loved using Hadia. Hadia. And the mattes are always beautifully blended all over. It's just blown out and just tap, tap, tap color. And then this little color is like a little transformer. It just throws anything you put on top, that you put it on top of, into a land of greatness, though. So. I love it. It was really good this week. I used almost every shade in there. And then the same with this. The thing with that, this palette is that I used these bigger colors just to like blow out some days. This was definitely a bribe on shade. Even though it looks super yellow on here. It's definitely a basic nude color. It does not show up yellow like that on my eyes. It shows up like a like a bribe on highlight color. The same with um I don't know how to say that where I'm gonna just zoom in and show you this peachy color one mom don't know don't i don't know but i only color i didn't use in here was um uli and the kaleki kaleki i used every other color in this palette this week and i really really love it i really 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 love being able to put this bright red which i'm not gonna keep butchering these names this bright red all over my lid i really want to try putting that on top of this rust like as a um under eye liner so i may sneak and do that this week even though i may not pull this palette for my makeup basket but guys that's kind of the review i did use a lot of things this week but i am i do do like a full face of makeup almost every day for work and I feel like I got good use on all the products in this pile. And I'm making sure that I know that I'm getting rid of two things this week. You know what? I'm not going to keep this highly wasted. I'm not going to deal with that, that, all that glitter. So highly wasted. Uh, Two Face Born This Way. And then the Tarte Shape Tape and Deep are all going out of my collection this week. Boom. Done. Bye.
So guys, that's the end. Make sure to like, share, subscribe. I know these videos are kind of crazy, but like I told y'all earlier this week, I have this crazy face rash going on. And I don't feel like being on camera, but I will try to film some probably Friday evening after work and then Saturday morning before I head out of town. So that way I can get some like on screen videos up for you guys coming up throughout the rest of this week and probably beginning of next week. Thanks for sticking around. Makeup basket review. Done and done. Bye.